Hey everyone, it's Sevi. Now that we've pretty much established that Redhorn is Ito's and Noelle's best in slot, this time I was curious about the matter of how the Redhorn fares versus the best in slot weapons on other characters who aren't Geo and don't scale on defense. To answer that very question, I tested the Redhorn mainly on Yula and Diluc, with some quick cameos of Sinyan and Chongyin to see what results and conclusions we can draw. That being said, the only case if you want to pull for the Redhorn should be if you want to give your Ito or Noelle a nice weapon. With those in mind, let's proceed. I'll start with Yula. I made a weapons comparison video on her long before comparing many of her viable claymores which I'll link in the description. I want to mainly see it perform versus the Song of Broken Pines, her current best in slot, and how it places with other claymores. We'll look at her bursts and normal attack damage as references and replicate the exact build and rotations used on that previous test. Here are the numbers to beat on the different claymores. First, let's start with the burst damage. As you can see, while we got 290k on the Broken Pines, the Red Horn outputs 241k. That's about 17% lower than the Broken Pines. Even versus other best in slot claymores like the Wolf's Gravestone, Serpent Spine, and Aquamaru, it's still lower and we can expect the same results on her skill's Lightfall Sword. But now let's see her normal attack. And as you can see, the Redhorn actually manages to match the Broken Pines and outperform most other claymores. It could actually fluctuate depending on your Eula's defense, but the point is that it's fairly close. This is thanks to Eula having innate defense buffing mechanics and the Redhorn taking advantage with its passive, adding a nice damage bonus to your normal attacks. So technically, while it works well on Eula's auto attacks, that loss in burst damage is fairly significant and you'd still be well served with a Serpent Spine at higher refinements or other 5 star weapons. Our next tester is Mondstadt's Dark Knight Diluc. We'll compare the Red Horn against two other best in slot weapons, an R5 Serpent Spine and R1 Wolf's Gravestone. As for the Serpent Spine, I'll have to compute a balanced crit stats version with 54% additional crit damage to even out the 27% crit rate given by Serpent Spine. I'm also going to use Bennett to buff him, and the burst damage will be taken with a melt reaction. While the Serpent Spine is on maximum stacks, the Wolf's Gravestone will be taken without the triggered effect since it's impractical to rely on in real usage. Now let's see how it performs. First is the burst, then let's take the skill damage on the first trigger, then the following first normal attack. Here are the numbers that Redhorn is up against. As we can see, the R5 Serpent Spine with balanced crit stats will be the best, but surprisingly the Redhorn performed noticeably better than a Wolf's Gravestone in all aspects. It seems anomalous, so I wondered why is that the case? I realized that what could be happening here is Bennett is compensating for the lost attack stats with the Redhorn. The law of diminishing returns is at work and since Diluc with Redhorn and Bennett gives both crit damage and a big attack buff, it's able to perform better than the Wolf's Gravestone. So to confirm this, let's test the damage again without Bennett. And indeed, the burst damage on Redhorn is now lower than the Wolf's Gravestone. However, the normal attack is still slightly higher and the skill damage is fairly close. So what about the Redhorn on Diluc? It actually works fine, better than I expected, especially if you use him with Bennett too. It's the same case for Sinyan when I tried her. On Redhorn, she gets much higher normal and charged attacks, but interestingly, very similar burst damage. This is a full attack DPS build Zinyan that yields higher damage than using a Defense Sans. Though, do keep in mind that this isn't a built Zinyan and isn't a really good reference point for what actually invested damage numbers look like, so it's better to refer to actual Zinyan mains for a definitive answer. And then on Chongyun, who we can pair with Bennett for a reverse melt, the burst is higher than a Wolf's Gravestone or Akumaru thanks to Bennett's attack buff. 
From here, we can make some generalizations to apply to other Claymore users. For characters that are dependent on normal and charged attacks, the Red Horn isn't that bad. Aside from it scaling from defense to boost the auto attacks, the fact that it gives such a huge crit damage is able to somewhat compensate. While I don't have a Razor to showcase, he's one example of this. But you still want to build them on attack if they primarily scale from attack, of course. For characters that depend on their burst, the Red Horn will be generally outperformed by other 5 stars, and even certain 4 stars like the Serpent Spine or Akumaru. However, if you aren't using a defense scaling character for the Red Horn, an attack buffer like Bennett or Sara will help balance things out to compensate for Red Horn's low base attack and its effect that doesn't benefit burst damage. And those are my conclusions. Honestly, this is more for curiosity than anything. Obviously, I wouldn't recommend you to get the Red Horn if you don't have an Ito Noel or Sin Yen, but if you're still trying to get one without them, I'd be interested to know why. But either way, I hope some of your curiosity was satisfied. That's going to be all for this video. If it helped you out or if you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you soon. Take care!